The perception uh, is still out there uh, that, that, I don't know, <laughs> refunds are lower, and uh, it's only 17% think they're paying less, uh, fewer, yeah, less taxes. So the perception still needs uh, to be worked on. Uh, people don't really understand, I, I think, what happened. Yeah, I, look, Joe, I agree, uh, and I think uh, uh, a liberal writer for Vox, uh, Matthew Iglesias, the other day, sort of a, a backward compliment, told uh, liberal Democrats, uh, praise them, that they had convinced the American people that President Trump had actually increased their taxes right. and the facts shown that people got a tax cut. I think that is still a narrative that works, but I think uh, over time that will change. You know, most people came into, I, I hate uh, tax day myself. Uh, it's never anything to celebrate, but I know that the Tax Freedom Day, which is the day since New Year's, you and I have been working to pay our state, local, federal taxes. It actually is tomorrow. That's a week earlier than it was under President Obama. So we are making some progress and giving people back more of what they earn. But I think a lot of people went in the tax season acting as if it was last year, keeping the same receipts, going through the same process. I know for Kathy and I, we now realize there's a lot of things we don't have to do uh, going into tax season next year that will be helpful. I still worry about 2022 and the way that it was uh the way that it was designed, because a lot of the benefits do start accruing to uh, the people that it wasn't intended to accrue to after 2022. That's where, what is 80 percent goes to the people you were intending now, but by then it, 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 the, the lion's share goes to wealthy individuals. Well, no, that's that's only the case if things. Well, look, that's not the case. Okay. Secondly, it uh, part of the key here is to make our tax cuts permanent. Uh, that's what the House already approved last year. What if it doesn't happen? Uh, we no. think that's very important. Yeah. But, but there's no question millionaires' uh, share of the tax burden increases from 19.3 to 19.8 percent under this, next, uh, this new tax code. As you know, in states with high tax states, I, I don't think the wealthy are talking at all about tax cuts. So, look, that narrative is wrong, both in fact uh, and in storytelling. What should we do? I mean, in, in your view, is the tax code progressive enough right now? The top 1% pay about 40%, and they get about 20%, I guess, of, of the income. Is that fair, 1%, 40%, but they, they, and they pay more than the bottom 90%? Is that progressive enough, or, or, I, or I, I mean, Democrats don't think so. Yeah, a, absolutely it is. It's one of the more progressive tax codes on the planet, uh, and the, the wealthy pay in a, a shocking amount. Uh, of the burden. And so, yeah, I think that that whole narrative of the wealthy needs to pay more just isn't the case. I think we no need to lower the tax rates at every income level, which is what we did uh, under this n n uh, new tax code. And again, think about the share of taxes. Today, for, for most Americans, tomorrow is the first day you start working for yourself since New Year's Day. And most of us can't remember what we did then. Uh, we've been working for the state, local, uh, and federal taxes. That's more than our food and housing and clothing combined. In New York, uh, you know, perfect. Right. New York, high tax state, New Jersey, you're still working into May before you begin to right. work for yourself. My view is that it, we are an overtaxed nation. And rather than okay. looking at a competition of how more how more do we increase those taxes? We ought to be looking at how do we make it more efficient. I wanted to ask you about a question that we had, we had talked to Barney Frank and Grover Norquist about earlier, which is this idea uh, that Congress doesn't want to allow the IRS effectively to make it easier and cheaper for uh, citizens to pay their taxes. Uh, this idea that the IRS could never develop effectively a free program uh, or make it or, or put it all on a bill effectively uh, so the taxpayers actually don't have to do all of the math and hard work themselves. Why? Yes, yeah, so as we work through the IRS uh, reforms bipartisan, uh, which is going to the floor, uh, just passed the House again last week, that second area is where there is real concern. Should you let the IRS, in effect, do your taxes uh, and send it to you? There are real concerns about the Well, there's the real IRS's concerns by h and Block to that it's that their business. And, Right? I mean, that's where the concern lies, well, and they've been lobbying you guys left and right about this very issue. Yeah, so I will tell you, I see it differently. H&R Block, which, by the way, has, 
has said we have about a 25 percent less tax liability this year uh, than last. Uh, their focus is on how we can simplify the tax code, at least working with the Ways and Means Committee. That's been the case. We already do have a number of free file programs available and a lot of help uh, for the low income and others as well. Plus, now 90 percent of Americans are going to be able to uh, file their taxes without ever having to itemize. So I think we've taken right. pretty important steps as hey, it is. Congressman, separately, uh, you're working uh, with uh, Congressman Neal um, on an important uh, retirement savings legislation program. But I also wanted to point out that Congressman Neal uh, has been pushing to see the president's tax returns. Where do you stand on that on tax day today? Well, uh, absolutely um, uh, object to that. The, the law today protects Americans from having their tax uh, returns seized or made public uh, for purely political reasons. Uh, Chairman Neal and the Ways and Means Committee is, as part of this sort of rush to impeachment investigation, is seeking the president's tax returns. This isn't about whether the president should voluntarily release his returns like, returns like other presidents. You can have a view one way or the other. This is whether Congress, for the first time, unprecedented should use a law that protects your privacy right. to hey, go after someone for purely Na political Nancy, reasons. That, Nancy that's Pelosi, a dangerous Nancy, precedent. Stay on this. I just wanted to ask because Nancy Pelosi uh, said over the weekend uh, that she would like to have legislation that would effectively force everybody who is in the White House uh, to release their tax returns across the board uh, for, for now and into the future. What do you think of that idea? Well, I think Speaker Pelosi can begin with her own. Uh, I think there should be parity between those who serve in the White House well, and those who serve in Congress as well. Uh, and so we can start well, about, right there. How about taxing unrealized gains? How, if you had to write that law for Ron Wyden, how, how would you do that in a way that, that was, I, it, okay, I, I can't see how you do it That's, to figure it out, but uh, why would someone who, I, I mean, he went to college, right? I mean, he's an educated guy. How yeah. could you possibly propose that with a straight face, Congressman? Yeah, How I would don't you do know. it? How would you implement uh, thank you that for, for, for elderly saying, people? I, it's, one, it's, Im it's uh, impossible, and you don't want to do it anyway, to be honest. Look, you want people investing it's for the there. future. You want people uh, using their dollars, and you, there's no way to do it, nor should you want to. Okay.